Hey all, how's it going? This is George from Techno.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to recover a corrupted zip file. Well, actually, how to recover as many files as possible from a corrupted zip file. So, let's take a look. Now, just one update before we move on to this video. I finally got my new apartment and moving in, and that's why you see a lot of background stuff here and it's a bit messy. But don't worry about this, guys, because I'm quickly uh, decorating it, fixing the apartment. And also, I need to get electricity on this flat, so right now there's nothing in this. Uh, but this is great news because I'll be creating my uh, new YouTube studio where I'll be able to record more videos for you guys. Now, that being said, we are finally ready to get started with this video. Now, before we talk about recovery options when a zip file is corrupted, we need to understand why corruption happens in the first place. And the most common reason why zip files end up being corrupted is because something happens during the compression process. That could be an outrage, maybe you shut off your computer, maybe you were doing other stuff on your computer which interfered with the uh, compression process, which could also be a reason why the whole thing ended up being corrupted, or perhaps the external software that you were using was unstable and that there are certain files which could not be compressors but these are not going to be cases that are going to happen very often but the good news are is that it's possible to recover files from a corrupted zip file it's not that the files are gone forever so don't panic it's you will be able to recover uh, some files at least some files from your corrupted zip file and in this video i'm going to show you three ways where you can recover as many files as possible from a corrupted zip file. So let's head off to my screen and show you exactly how to do it. Now, initially, what you want to do is to move on to the directory where you have your uh, corrupted zip file. Now, in this case, the zip file that I'm having is called rubbish.zip and it's about 16.35 gigabytes. Now, sometimes it's important to talk about what kind of files you have in your zip file. In my case, I have loads of images and videos which I don't really need and I was just experimenting with, uh, with compression and stuff like that. So that's why this ended up being corrupted. And so if we try to unzip this file, we're just going to double click on it. It's going to start unzipping the process, but it's going to throw us an error. It's going to say, unable to expand robbies.zip into my external hard drive by throwing an error of 1779 in the appropriate file type of format. And this basically is telling us that this zip file is corrupted. So what we're gonna do is just press OK. And what I want from you guys is to right click on the directory. Okay, I guess it's gonna be my external hard drive. And I'm gonna select new terminal at folder. Okay, and this is gonna open a terminal window in the directory that you're currently at. Okay, if you do not have these options right here, what you can do is to press on command and space at the same time or click on this search icon right here and then type terminal. Okay, press enter and then go into the directory where you have your corrupted zip file, right click and then by holding down the option key on your keyboard, choose copy as path name and then type cd space and press command and V from your keyboard to paste the path name that I've just copied. Now in my case, it's not gonna work because this is from an external hard drive. So what you'll need to do if your corrupted zip file is an external hard drive, then you need to do a CD back to directories by doing dot dot slash dot dot slash, press enter. And this is gonna take you back to the, as far back as possible. Then I'm gonna do a CD space and copy paste the external hard drive. And you're probably gonna need to remove the with the slash at the beginning in order to do this. And now we're gonna move on with the first solution on how to try and recover the corrupted zip file. And in this case, we're gonna use the unzip functionality from terminal. Now, before doing this, I'm just gonna clear up the whole mess. Then we're gonna type unzip space and then the name of your zip file. In this case, it's gonna be rubbish. Make sure that you type the name exactly because this is case sensitive. And then I'm gonna press enter, okay? And then it's gonna start unzipping as many files as possible. Now keep an eye on some messages that it may throw you or ask you. So in this case, it's gonna ask us whether it wants us to replace uh, this kind of image or file. I'm just gonna say yes. I'm just gonna say all actually. There we go. 
and then it's gonna try to get all the files for you uh, in the background. It's gonna take probably a couple of minutes depending on the size of your uh, zip file. In this case, it has 16 gigabytes of content in there, so it's gonna take some time, but just make sure that it finishes with what it's doing. Okay, so it's finally ready and uh, we can scroll up and see all the entire process and we see that there are some files which unfortunately unzip didn't manage to recover and that's fine it may not be fine but unfortunately this is what it could do so far and now what we can do is we can go back to folder I'm just gonna minimize this for now just to uh, not take too much space we're gonna go to the folder rubbish and then we can see that we have so many photos like so many files that it tried to recover we're gonna keep scrolling down into all the files that we have and I can even access them I'm just gonna Look one and just try to uh, open it. And for privacy purposes, I just blurred the, the image out. So as you can see, the files are there. Just gonna open some other files. Um, there you have it. And then we're just gonna open a video. And then because I have videos as well, we can open other videos as well to see whether they work or not. It looks like they do. And again, for privacy purposes, I just blurred the video, uh, this stuff out because they are fortunately. Uh, private you know uh, so just gonna close this down and then uh, we're gonna I want to do something else I want to go back and I want to right click on rubbish I want to get some information about this well folder and we see that it's it only managed to recover 15.48 worth of gigabytes which is basically slightly less than gigabyte off from rubbish.zip and that's the issue because it basically tells us that there are some files which couldn't be recovered Okay, and we can also keep an eye on the total number of items that we managed to recover. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna keep the rubbish info, actually we're gonna close it for now, and we're gonna move on to the second method of how to try and recover a corrupted zip file. And in this method, we're gonna be using the 7-zip package, and you can install this by using Homebrew, which is basically described by some uh, to be a better way of uh, unzipping a file because it doesn't look into the end of the zip file it just starts from the beginning to try to recover the file so that's why and probably it could be a better option for some but again by using different methods it just really depends on how the file go got corrupted but we'll see okay in, the, in this case so the first thing what we have to do is to install homebrew now homebrew is a package manager which allows us to install some extra packages in order to do our job are basically easier when it comes to the terminal and stuff like this so what we're gonna do is you're gonna visit this website right here brew.sh and basically it's gonna give you more information about homebrew here we have some information on how to install it we're just gonna copy this command and just paste it right here now because I already have it I'm not gonna press enter but in your case just make sure to press enter to install it wait until it's installed and once this is done it's gonna uh, exit it now uh, once this is done, then what you need to do is to type brew install p7zip. Okay, press enter. You need to install it. Now, again, I'm not going to do it because I have already uh, installed it. So once you have installed it, what you want to do, what you want to do in order to unzip the corrupted file is type 7zx and then the name of the corrupted zip file. So I'm going to say rubbish dot. Uh, zip and in order to prevent a, po a potential overwrite of the previous rubbish folder we're just gonna rename it as one okay and then we want to uh, press enter here and it's gonna begin unzipping as many files as possible okay all right so the process is done so as you can see here we have some errors I mean it's expected to have some errors uh, as you can see, there is a data error on this file. So as you can see, create a new folder called rubbish because basically the same name as the zip file. And then you have the file which basically says that it doesn't actually work. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the directory and then see what's up. So that's the old one. That's the current one that we have created. So we're gonna right click on it and we're gonna say get info. And as you can see, there are less files that we managed to unzip to, to recover basically and so if we can go and look into this file and see what's up with it so we're gonna go on rubbish and then we're gonna sort by name 
Okay, we're gonna show by name so you can see basically we're gonna scroll it down to we'll see image one, two, four, five. Now this could happen to you as well, so just just keep an eye on this. This is the file that doesn't work. We're gonna double click on it and then we'll soon see that it doesn't work actually. And as you can see, I cannot click on play, so it just doesn't work. And unfortunately, there isn't a single way, like one way where you could recover all of this file or just get them to work in some way. Because of so many types, there could be so many different uh, types of files that could be corrupted or just incomplete. Now, moving on to the third way on how to recover a corrupted zip file is by using an extension which is available for Mac users called D2. It's just like another way of trying to, to access files from a, from a corrupted zip file. It may or may not really produce some results, but again, there are multiple reasons why a file got corrupted and that could also be a solution which could help you in this case. Okay, so going back on a computer, we are going to go and get on terminal and before we do anything, I'm going to go back on my external storage device or on your directory and just going to change the results that we have just produced with 7-zip to 2 so, just, so, it, so it doesn't do any overwriting. I'm going to close it and then we're going to type d2 just like that dash xk space the name of your, of your corrupted zip file so rubbish dot I forgot the item there rubbish dot zip space and then just specify where you want to store the results now in my case i'm just going to put on as a, i'm just going to store it in the current directory so i'm going to say dot slash once ready just press enter and it's going to begin recovering as many files as possible for you now do not worry if it doesn't show anything on the terminal it doesn't really show what's going on but once it's done it's going to show you what happened or perhaps if it crashes somewhere or you know, it doesn't manage to recover some files. And as you can see right now, pretty much it's the same file, the one that we had issues before. And if we go back to the directory, and that's the one, that's the latest result, and right click on it, get say get info, it only managed to recover 370 items, and it's 14.71 uh, gigabytes. And again, it, it stopped on the same file. Now, fortunately, that's pretty much what you can do so far like these are like all the free tools that we can use the built-in tools that we can use to try and recover as much as possible from the original crop file now by all means do not delete the original zip file because you don't want to lose it forever because who knows maybe in the future you'll be able to figure out a way or we could we could figure out a way of how to recover it okay now we can just do a quick comparison we're just gonna whoops uh didn't mean to do this uh, we're just going to name this as three and we're going to do a quick comparison. We're just going to open get info for all of these files. Okay. And now we can close this down. No problem. No, it's not needed anymore. I'm going to close the terminal as well. So now we can see, we can compare how much files we managed to recover from each of those methods. So we see that the first method, the unzip one, managed to recover the mo most of them. So 391 items. The second method only 371 and the last one only 370 items so now you can see the difference between those three tools that we used but it's very important to say that maybe from the 7-zip there could be some files that got recovered which do not exist on unzip okay maybe with d2 the very last method that we use could manage to recover some files which do not exist from unzip and vice versa. So that's why I wouldn't throw any of those folders away. What I would do is go into the directory and I'm just gonna move on to rubbish two and three and just gonna copy all of those and just paste them on rubbish one. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say apply to all and I'm gonna say uh, skip. So it doesn't replace any of the files that we have uh, recovered with the first version okay so it's just going to add any files that do not exist on from uh, by using the unzip method we're going to do the same thing with rubbish 3 copy everything command a copy everything command c to copy go back to rubbish 1 paste and then again apply to all we're going to say skip 
we're going to close all these windows and we're going to right click and say get info from Robert one and unfortunately it looks like the two extra methods that we used didn't manage to recover uh, anything extra but this is not going to be always the case okay because again it really depends on how the file has been corrupted but this is going to be a good indication to see that there are multiple methods on recovering uh, corrupted files some work better than others by default but at the end of the day if you want to recover all the files you have to consult an expert like this is unfortunately the only way where uh, recover where file recovery uh, can happen uh, those, those days but at least we managed to save as many files as possible which is basically the end goal of this video if you like this video and you managed to get some help don't forget to hit the like button below and let me know in the comment section how many files you managed to recover also if any of your friends are experiencing the same issue don't forget to share this video to them maybe it's going to help them and bring up some excitement Finally, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell right next to it in order to be the first one to receive our latest videos. Thanks for watching and as always, I'll see you in my next video.